Here is CNN's Dana Bash with ever insightful information on the Trump arrest. Turns out even Jack Smith can't resist a $5 footlong. That's according to what we see right there, new and exclusive CNN video of the special counsel at Subway. Declining, though, to respond to reporters' questions about today's big news, a target letter sent to the former president of the United States, CNN's Evan Perez, was there <laughs> trying to track down the special counsel. I won't ask you all of the uh, less important things about what he got and yeah. how he paid and all that. But, but what is important is the imagery here. Uh, they clearly wanted right. us to see him uh, and, and that image to be very different from what we saw in the president, former president's post, with, which is that he's a, a deranged individual. <laughs> We're going to mostly focus on the sandwich and what this guy ate, six inch foot long. Did he get lettuce? How much mustard did he have on? And also he's deranged, by the way. You know, the guy's completely, completely... The way they frame, and by the way, that was exclusive video of CNN. My God, that's incredible. CNN had a man standing outside a subway. Holy sheep shit. But it continued. It wasn't just Dana Bash. I'm fairly certain this is her husband. Can you Google this real quick? Is Dana Bash married to John King? I'm 99% sure the answer is yes. They're going to Google it while we show you John King also, also analyzing what Jack Smith had for lunch. And just one last point. Jack Smith, remember when the classified documents target letter, when Trump announced that, there was a lot of commentary. You know, is Jack Smith making a mistake here? Is he leaving this all to Donald Trump? And then they released the indictment and we all said, wow, wow. We read it. We saw the documentation. We saw the level of detail. Jack Smith going to Subway today is a message to Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump tries to intimidate people. He tries to bully people. He tries to scare you away. That was Jack Smith with no words and a simple $5 sub in his hand saying, I'm here, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, the imagery was, uh, uh, was intentional and spoke volume. It really is. All right, first off, uh, we did a little Googling. Apparently Dana Bash and John King were married. Uh, they are now divorced. Let's just put that aside. It's funny that they're still working together on CNN is what it is. Uh, that is some of the dumbest analysis I've ever heard in my entire life. He honestly believes, and they sit there and they agree with him that somehow Jack Smith having lunch, I mean, the guy just decided to go for lunch, that that was to send a message to Donald Trump. Like, you see, I'm so calm and cool and collected about this indictment that I can get a $5 six inch Subway sandwich, okay? That is, and they, they, they look at him as if that is a sensible thing to say that has any bearing to do with reality. Now, I actually do believe it might be coordinated because why was CNN standing outside the very subway that the guy was going into? Are they, are they tracking him all day? Like is CNN tracking the prosecutor all day long to follow him? I mean, that seems a little weird, but uh, that really sent a, it would have sent a message to Donald Trump if he would have gone to Orange Julius in the mall and been sucking down one of those gross orange things. Like, see, orange man, I got you and I'm gonna suck you dry. That would have been something. By going to Subway, all he's proving is that he wasn't near a Jersey Mike's because Jersey Mike's is obviously way better than Subway. Everyone knows that. <laughs> 